I've always wanted to be a bartender. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, it's Nita, and welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. On this channel, we focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood, and everything in between. So if you enjoy those topics, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now, since we are doing Vlogmas, I thought it would be appropriate to do a little something different on the channel today. And today we are doing holiday drinks and treats. Um, I felt like this would be the time where most of us are hosting. Maybe you're having a girls night, or maybe you just wanna have a nice little holiday drink at home. So if you enjoy a good libation and a good treat, then this is the video for you. Um, before we get into the video, I wanna talk about this top that I'm wearing today that's kind of opening a little bit. I'm not trying to flash y'all. The, the hooks are just kind of coming open. But I did get this shirt two years ago from Fashion to Figure, a collaboration they did with Sarah Ray Vargas. So I do not have a link for you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, so there's that. But yeah, I will have everything, um, the drink ingredients, as well as the recipes in the description box down below. Um, the cups, the glasses that I'm using, everything will be in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, y'all, so Jordan's gonna read the recipe off to me because she actually found these. <laughs> so it's not good. <laughs> you gotta blame Jordan. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell y'all the ingredients. So we need Vanilla vodka, we got Smirnoff because options were limited. A lot of stuff was already sold out. And then we have um, Amaretto. We got this one. We needed whole milk. And then we needed the, um, I think this is Irish cream. So we got this and I have the minis because the larger ones were sold out. So I got the minis. And then for the rim, we're going to use icing. And then we got sprinkles and then the powdered sugar. Yeah, so those are the ingredients. Everything will be linked down below. So now let's go ahead and get into it. Lisa, I need one. One and a half ounces of vanilla vodka. All right. Is this one serving? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's probably, okay, so we're gonna double this because we got two glasses. We need two servings, so. All right. One and a half ounces of the Irish cream. So it's one and a half ounces. And again, we're gonna double it because we got two glasses. Two ounces of milk. So we're gonna do four. This is one and a half, so. I think I see it. Uh, one, all right. Okay. And this one ounce of the amaretto. One ounce of amaretto. This is such a pretty bottle. It smells like amaretto sour. Did y'all used to drink amaretto sours in college? I drank them all the time. It was like my go-to drink. Did y'all drink amaretto sours? I did. You didn't? Have you had one before? No. Have you had one before, Corey? No. What kind of, what kind of college experience did y'all have? Cause like, <laughs> you said one teaspoon of powdered sugar. So we got two drinks. We're ready to shake. We're ready to shake, okay. I've always wanted to be a bartender. <laughs> so, but I ain't trying to spill it. Okay. They be cute at the bar when they shake their things. This a workout though. I'm trying to be. All right. Okay. Hey. It smells. Like? It smells very sweet. Well, I guess as a sugar cookie, it should be. So, oh, we gotta prepare our glass. So that's that. Hold on. Frosting and sprinkles, right? Good. But yeah, when I was in college, back to the Amaretto sour story. We used to go, it was $2 Tuesdays, and then Wednesdays was ladies nights, and they would have, you know, like the well drinks and like the um, the stuff that would be on sale, you know? That's what I mean by sale, like the drink specials, not sale. The drink specials, and Amaretto Sours were one of the drink specials. So like, anything that I drank, it was because it was on special, because I ain't had no money. So, that's where they came from. But clearly, y'all wasn't turned up like I was. <laughs> okay, what sprinkles should we use? Should we use white and gold, or gold, or red and white, or silver? What you think? White and gold. White and gold. Oh, it's so pretty. It almost looks like coconut, right? There's one. I'm so proud. <laughs> okay. 
Now, let's pour our drinks. All right. Now, for the moment of truth, join you gotta come join me. <laughs> Wait, we didn't save any for Corey. That's okay. No, you gotta have some. <laughs> you gotta taste it. Corey's here as well, y'all. Corey's gonna taste it. Jordan, which glass you want? I think you want the left. I figured. Yeah. All right. So cheers. cheers. First of all, it's strong. But it's good. It's good. Mm. Does it taste like a sugar cookie though? I think so, in an alcohol kind of way. I don't think it tastes like a shoe. <laughs> let me see. Hold on. Let me let me have a little a good sip. Hold on. Uh oh. It's good. It's not giving sugar cookie to me. Well, the rim is giving sugar cookie because of the icing and the sprinkles. That gives it that like sugary crunch. But the drink, it's good. It's it almost reminds me of a chocolate martini, which is what we're making next. So yeah, I like it. Would you make it at home? I would. It's good. Corey, you gotta like taste it. it. He's trying to get out of taste of this drink. You're not getting out of it. It's not bad. <laughs> Does it taste like a sugar cookie? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but it's good, so. I don't like eggnog. I'm not getting eggnog, because I don't like eggnog. I don't know, but anyhow, I think it's pretty good. I'll have the recipe down below. If you don't like it, blame Jordan, because she looked it up, so. <laughs> All right, let me clean up and get ready for the next drink, which is the chocolate martini. All right, you guys, so we're back with drink number two, which is one of my new favorites, a chocolate martini. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and clean this out, and there's already ice in the shaker. So what do we need? We need four ounces of the Irish cream. Four ounces of Irish cream. Eight ounces of the chocolate liqueur. Four. And it's a cute bottle. I don't think I told y'all what we needed, but again, it'll be in the description box down below all the measurements. And then I have to make eight, right? All right. Jordan went to college, y'all, so she gonna keep me on task. <laughs> all right, what else? I need 16 ounces of vodka. It's not gonna fit in this shaker. So we're gonna do our best. <laughs> We gotta do our best. Thank God that has to be already, their recipe has so. to be double. Yeah. It has to be double. Wow. Okay, we need 16 ounces. Mm -hmm. Dang. You can, you can just get the eight. Okay, so worst case scenario, you just make a weaker thing. Right, and that I think that's fine with all of us. Y'all, we're actually filming this at, it's now 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay, so that's one and a half, three, I think we're gonna get four and a half. Right. I don't think anybody's gonna be mad at that, so. But keep in mind the measurements for this one, I'm pretty sure it's already doubled versus the sugar cookie recipe. I'm, that was definitely for one person. So and I'm gonna. Three tablespoons of chocolate there. Oh. Three tablespoons? Yeah. I wanna see if it's gonna come out like it needs to. One. <laughs> Let's shake it up. Now I'm gonna be careful shaking this because this thing is full. Okay. <laughs> Typically with chocolate martinis, if you've ever had one at the bar, they just like drizzle chocolate on the inside, but I also wanted a peppermint rim just to make it more holiday appropriate or like more festive. So I'm gonna do the peppermint rim first. What we did was we got the little candy canes that came in the package and we just took the meat grinder and um, crushed them up. So there's that. And then on the rim, I'm just gonna take some of the Tito's on a paper towel and put it on the rim so it can, uh, so it can attach, so the peppermint can stick. I know how to do that. Cause I do sugar on my lemon drop, the sugar rim. So I know how to do that. <laughs> But if y'all know a better way to do this, you can let me know in the comments down below. But this is the way I've always done it. I just take some of the liquor and put it on a paper towel. Ooh. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a whole lot. And then 
I was just taught to put it around the rim. Or you can, you know, if you have a, like a cup or something, but I just use a paper towel. Ooh, they look strong. Ooh, that was a lot. All right, and then we have our peppermint on a plate, and we're just going to put it around the rim here. It's not as thick as I would want it to be, but I think it's okay. So then, what they do at the bar is they drizzle the chocolate on the inside. Now, I've never done this before, so we gonna hope that it's as pretty as the bartenders make it. So, cause, whew, okay, it's not as pretty as they do it at all. <laughs> it looks good. There's one. There's two. Let me get Corey's glass again. Mm -hmm. If you like chocolate, I feel like you'll like it because it's a chocolate bar and a cup with some liquor. So, cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like it. Good, good. Well, I like chocolate martinis. Okay, Corey, you gotta come taste it. Corey be trying to act like he forgot, like he back there taking video. <laughs> Get this drink. <laughs> Eggnog. Eggnog. Sweeter. Sweeter. I think sweeter. It's like vanilla. It's a, no. But the Baileys. I don't know. It's probably the only common commonality between the two was the Baileys. And then this one, you can taste that mint afterwards from the um the mint can. on the rim. And I'm not really a chocolate mint person, so I would opt out of that because I don't like chocolate and mint. I like mint. I like chocolate. I don't like them combined. So, but it's cute. If it was like thicker, it would be very aesthetically pleasing. So. Yeah. What do you give it out of 10? What, out of a 10? I think I'll give it an eight out of a 10. What About the same. Same? same. Eight. Yeah. What would you give it? No, I'd give eight. Eight sounds Okay, good. so what would y'all give the sugar cookie out of a 10? Mm, I think I'd give it like a seven. Seven out of a 10? I think I'm gonna give it a six out of a 10. What would you give it? Another eight. Another oh. eight? Yeah. I think you're biased because you like eggnog. You, you say like it tastes it. like eggnog. Yeah. I don't like eggnog just to be clear, but I do love chocolate martinis, so yeah. But All right, so to finish up our little holiday cocktails and things <laughs> video, we're gonna do a little, I don't know if this is still considered a charcuterie board or not, but I've got some things from Target. I got the mini frosted sugar cookies that are so cute. I got some gingerbread um, bites that are really good. Me and Jay have already devoured, you know, hopped into those. And then we also got some frosted brownies. And I thought this would be really cute, again, if you're having a girl's night or you're having people over for just like some fun. This could be something that you set out for people to have, just like some cute. It'll be number one cute, but also they can just have like some sweet treats. So I'm going to try to, ooh. Now, mind you again, I am not a professional, honey. So I feel like if I can do it, you can do it. And I say that and I haven't even done it, so we're gonna hope it turns out great. <laughs> Jada already started eating some of those. And then we tasted these the other day. So like I said, all of this is from Target. I'll link it below if I can. So I think I'm gonna, uh, and if my hands are ashy, it's because I've been washing things in between us doing this. So if my hands are ashy, just know that's why. So I think I'm gonna do like the, I don't know if y'all can see. I think I'm gonna do the, um, the brownies down the middle. Maybe I should kind of stack them. What you think? Like stack them, kind of sort of? Or maybe I, I want to try to do them at a diagonal, actually. So, ooh, that'd be cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all can't see right now, but just know it's cute. All right, now I'm going to show y'all how it looks just with those. I hope you guys can see. I'm not trying to drop it, but there's that. And then I think I'm going to go into the gingerbread bites and just kind of stagger them in between. And what I love about this is that it's, you know, we didn't cook nothing, so it wasn't hard. You just you just ordered your your um, curbside pickup, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, you know, you went in and got it, but it's not like you're already cooking, you're already preparing, we already shopping, we have enough things going on. So this is easy. You can just pick it up. All right, sorry if I flashed you guys, but <laughs> what I love about this is the fact that, like I said, it's no bait. We just picked it up. It's not really expensive and, um, it's cute. So I'm sure I'll have a picture or some B-roll on the side so you guys can just kind of see. And yeah, that's our little fake charcuterie board. 
All right, you guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I know it's a little something different. I don't really cook and stuff like that, girl. I am not a chef and I'm not Martha Stewart. However, I did think, like I said, that today's video would be nice being that the holidays are up on us and if you're hosting or you know, you're having people over to the house, you may wanna try these drinks. So let me know in the comments down below if you do check them out. And also let me know if you guys have tried a lemon drop, not a lemon drop, child, this is not a lemon drop. Let me know if you have had a uh, chocolate martini because I love them and if you do check it out later, let me know how you like it, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Nita Danielle. Pinterest and TikTok is Nita Danielle and the blog is NitaDanielle.com. All right, now I'm gonna let y'all go. Have a good day. Bye.